installing a front splitter, side skirts, and rear spoiler on a C5 Corvette. Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Scott and today I have a special guest helping me install the parts on this C5 Corvette. We're going to be installing a front splitter as well as side skirts and a rear spoiler from Extreme Online Store. Now this is new stuff that they just got in. They've only had it a very short amount of time and um, it, as you can see it looks awesome. Uh, it's a great addition to the car and uh, it just, like I said, it just looks great. So who I've got you guys know and he's going to be doing the installation and I'm going to do all the filming. So uh, stay put and we'll show you how it's done. Hey what's up guys? Scott actually let me come help him again. What we're going to do is we're going to put the spoiler, oh, this is my wife's car by the way. Scott has went and ceramic it. It come out great. This paint is 20 years old. Anyway, let's get back to this. What we've done, we put tape on these in on each edges just to where we can get it where it's lined up where we want. And it's gonna go on as so. And the tape is on here just so that you can line it up and get it basically where we want it. Now, we're gonna turn it over. How do we drill the holes in it, right? How do we mark them? We're gonna put grease in each one of these holes and then Scott's going to help me and we're going to turn it over and just set it down. Where the grease spots are is where you drill the holes. As you can see, we've taken the lights out. This is out for the simple reason when we put the spoiler on, we have some way to get in and tighten the screws up. This here doesn't have to be taken out. This was taken out just for the ceramic coat and we'll put it all back together when we're done with the spoiler. All this grease is, is dielectric grease. It's clear, it won't hurt anything, doesn't bother. And you go into each one of these holes and you put a little bit, just like that. Just like that. All right. Now, with Scott's help, we're going to go over there and he's going to help me from side to side and we're going to set that down. When we set it down, it's going to leave these little marks and then we'll drill the holes. You drill the holes oversize a little bit because that gives, then that'll give you a little adjustment. Don't get too big to where the nuts fall through, but just big enough so you got a little adjustment to line it up on the body. Now, he's going to grab that in, I'm going to grab this in, and I'm just going to get it close to the tape, and then we just set it down, like so, okay. Now just lift straight up, and there's your little places. All right, we're gonna take and put this on first, is it's this foam backing. It's just one-sided tape, that's exactly what it is. And we're just going to start it right about here. At the end of these little, there's a little screwdriver slot. Make sure you put that facing up in this here so that oh, you got something to screw it to. Come on now. So okay. the, the next thing we're going to do is you got these little rubber washers. Well, they're like the neoprene. This is almost the same stuff as that. And I'm going to put them around each one of these like so. So I know guys, you guys haven't seen Terry a lot in any, in any of the videos lately and a lot of that has to do with the fact that I moved 
and also that Terry has been doing a pile of stuff to his house. So as you can see guys, we've got our, our marks here in the paint and we're just gonna drill a... These are just pilot holes? Yep. Now this is an eighth inch, yeah. You know, this one is this going one, through the housing of that. This the, one here yes. is, is good. There's something right here. Right, yeah. What there is is there's a uh, like a little bracket underneath here just to support this to make it stiffer, like a stiffener. You can go through it, it won't hurt it. Now, let me change this. Now that was an eighth inch drill bit, correct? Yeah. Yeah, and, and this was a quarter. This was a quarter. And yeah. what it is, is if the holes are a little off, you want them actually a little bigger. You can make them as small as you can get them, but a little bigger won't hurt it because then it gives you an, a, a little bit of wiggle room to move things around and line them up. That's not gonna work. We got all the holes, right? And all the studs are in. Now it's just a matter of putting it on. With all them holes lined up, it'll be real easy. You just kind of get down here at eye level so that you can see the studs. And you just kind of line each one of them up. Nice. After I got it on here, I found out that the studs are really short. So it's what I'm going to do. No washers. I'm just going to use these. And these will act like a lock nut because they're serrated in here. And once you tighten it up and tighten it onto this glass itself, it won't back out. So you just got to kind of reach up in here and start finding these little guys. Guys, you have to do this by feel. There's no way I can get my camera up in there to show you that, but. Okay, now it's all about just tightening it down. I got a, a 10 millimeter socket that I can use on these two. The one in the middle right here, you're gonna have to use a wrench because you can't get the socket in there. So this one here will work right here. I'll kind of feel it. Uh, I'm not gonna use the ratchet part. You can see it sucking down onto the onto the bumper now. This here, don't don't just keep tightening, just kind of feel, you just gotta snug it up. Once you feel that nut with that shredded spark up in the glass, you're good to go. But just don't tighten it too tight. Now these, you can come over and find them. So guys, while Terry's tightening these up, let me explain to you if you have not already seen how to take these taillights out. Um, as you probably all well know, the taillight has a screw here as well as here on both taillights. But what a lot of people probably don't know is right here, this third brake light. So in order to get to that, there's two screws. They're pointed downward and uh, you can reach them. They're eight millimeter. Let me see if I can, there are eight millimeter screws and uh, you would reach through this side and or that side over there where Terry's hand's at to be able to access those screws. 
you'll steal the plug, you can un unplug the uh, wire from it, and you'll be able to pull it right out the, the, uh, the back of the, the, of the uh, housing. So that, that way you can get to this and you're not drilling into the third brake light when you go to drill that hole, okay? Terry's just about done here, tightening that up. And that is pretty much that's, it, guys. That's it for the toilet. Yeah. Like cleaning it up. That's, that's it. Scott's job. I know, right? <laughs> so, uh, guys, literally all you're doing now, um, the reason that this piece down here was out, I think Terry already said that, is because I had just got done doing a ceramic coating on this car. Uh, this has got a... Uh, uh, this is a silver package. Uh, it's got a five-year warranty on this. Um, so, um, you know, we're doing those now. If you need, need one done, let me know. Uh, we're running a great special on these. So, um, anyway, uh, and as far as um, the taillights, like I said, they're literally just been pulled out so we could do the ceramic coating. You don't actually have to pull this bottom piece, just these, the, uh, the t four taillights and the center uh, third brake light. But uh, so we won't, we're not gonna bother showing you how to take those, put those back in, because that's pretty self-explanatory. All right, so the next thing we're gonna be doing, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put the front splitter on the car, and then we'll be doing the front, or the side skirts. Okay, we're gonna start to put the new splitter on, which is right down here. And I want, you gotta take these off to begin with, and then we'll fit it up there and fit it. There's just screws behind here. This, this is no big deal. Now once we got these little air diffusers off of there, there's one, two, three, four, five bolts that you have to take out. And these are eight millimeter screws. Okay, now the holes these holes right here are all these holes right along here. So all the holes are drilled. All three of these holes are, are the ones from these air dams that we took off. So they just, all the holes are there. The only ones that you're gonna have to screw, put screws in, is this outer edge. And they supply the screws. We're gonna put tape, that sticky side tape, all along these edges. Try to keep them away from the holes as much as you can, but don't get over this lip because then you'll be able to see it. So get the tape as close as you can to them screw holes. And I think we're going to start doing that right about now. Okay, so Scott's going to put these little pieces on me because my fingers, it's not going to work. <laughs> I got these smashed thumbs from hitting it with hammers. Well, as you guys have seen in other videos, this is not the funnest part for us because our fingers don't tend to get the sticky part off, but are very well, I should say. Come across like that. Let's see if we can get this to come off. That's the part that I, uh, it doesn't work very well for me. All I right. like this tape because it's clear. Yeah, yeah, this stuff is, this stuff is clear. The kids have started coming with the, the clearer tape, which makes it a lot easier to, to hide. It doesn't show up as, as well as the old gray stuff did. Let's 
As you can see here, guys, I'm staying inboard of the outside edge here, like Terry was saying. And this way, it won't be seen. So you want to make sure that you get it in like that. I think I might have cut that just a hair too long. Cut that back just a hair. <laughs> All right. And we're, we're on the home stretch here, guys. Now, I've done this this uh, this type of spoiler before, or splitter, I should say, before by myself. It is a bear, so if you guys have somebody that can help you, I would highly advise you to do that just just to get it placed. Okay. All right. All right. Scott's gonna hold this up while I put. There's one screw right here in the middle, and then I'm gonna put these two end pieces in. Then I'll come back and start putting all these screws in. Then we'll work on the front. I want to try to get the sticky tape from not sticking up there, so we got to pull it down again. So we'll start with this and see what we can do. Okay, we got this. And it goes right up. Okay, now we're going to get the outside one. Okay. So you got that one. I'm gonna go over here on the side and just kind of hold it in place. Okay, that one started. How are we lining up? It's looking pretty good. Okay, go I'm it. gonna put these other four screws in right here. These diffusers, they're like air dams, I call them. And is what they do is they keep the air off the tire from the air coming up and hitting the tire. Now, if these, these here are in pretty good shape, so I'm gonna put them back on. If yours are all busted up and tore up and stuff, there's nearly not a necessary thing to have. It's a good thing to have if you can save them or if you wanna replace them. But it's something like some guys just, they're all tore up, so they just leave them off. I want to take this screw back out. Okay, and I want to take this and put it back up here. Okay, now we've got the five screws in the front and the three or four on each side, right? Now these ones here, there's five of them on each side. They're self-tapping screws and they should just go right up in there. I want to start in the middle one, or closest to the middle, which would probably be this one right here. Kind of work your way out. Now Terry's using screws here, but if you wanted to, you could use rivets. Um, but these, these screws, they grab pretty good, so I don't think... And one more. And you just installed 
this glitter. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put the side skirts down. We're just gonna start right back over here. All right, and we wanna make sure that we're inboard and inboard. We don't wanna be on these edges, okay? So we're just gonna start like that. And we're gonna come across just like this. Okay, and we'll go, I guess we'll go inboard here like that. And just like this. And then we'll go ahead and we'll snip it. Okay, cool. Just like that. And we're gonna do the exact same thing. And then the fun spark. You get That's to right. peel that stuff. So now I'm gonna go ahead and peel this here in just a second, but what I want to point out to you is that this one is the pat this is the driver side because this notch goes to the back and this is where your jacking puck hole is and this one is actually well this one is going to be on the passenger side we're going to actually turn it completely around so this is the one we're going to be working on first so we're going to go ahead and we're going to peel the tape on this one right here. There's one right here where the door and the fender match right here. You take that out. Then there's another one right back here at the very back. And you take that one out. Now should be able to take this and slide it in like that and take and put this right here and put it back up in the fender near the bottom of the car. Okay, there's one. Kind of let it down the top. Okay. And, uh, Your jacking puck is kind of blocking it a little bit. You have to get it to line up. There you go. And get this lined up. This arm's in the way, that's why it's giving me trouble, but never fear, I will make it work. Get my hand out of your way. Your screw's kind of going in, oh there it's straightening out, okay. So guys, these two screws here are basically your alignment screws. These are the only two that are in the bottom of the car already. So these are these are seven millimeter uh, screws, and you're just gonna take those out, and they'll go in. You just tighten them up. Just so happens the way we loaded the car onto the rack, it just happens to be in the in way. The way. Um, but if you were just jacking this up, just on the floor with a floor jack, um, then this would not be in your way. Okay, Scott's kind of holding the bottom, so I can do this, and I'm going to put this screw in, if it's going to work. There we go. Okay. Now, 
me get one more down here. How about right here? Okay, got it. top there you go now we're going to put two right here these two here come from this side and if you if you see like it might not fit just give this a little nudge and it'll go right up there there you go But now let's go up to the front and we get that one in the front. Okay. Which is where I put that little thing right here. Okay, and we're right in the door well, which was right here. And then this goes up and into this. Do okay. okay, what I done is I put a screw up here just to hold it. I'm gonna put these two here in because there's not too much meat to get to, so I want to line them up. Scott's gonna help me with that. And one, and we got one more. There you go. Now we're just going to go along and put the screws in all along the side here. Down to our very last screw here. All right. Okay, guys. Well, there you go. That is literally yeah. all there is to it. Yeah. So. It's all done now. Oh, forgot one right here, Scott. Oh, you forget one? Yeah, right here. No big deal. Right here at the beginning. Oh. I think this might be the one where we can't get in because of the body. Nope, there that one's go. good. That one's good. Okay. That looks like it, guys. All right. So, guys, hopefully you found this video helpful and informative. And if you did, you'll know exactly where to get your parts for your Corvette. So, reach out to Extreme Online Store. I'm going to put that information right here on the screen. They'll be able to help you. If you are in need of getting these parts installed on your C5, reach out to me. I will be happy to help you. I'm an authorized dealer as well as installer for Extreme Online Store. So if you don't want to worry about having to have them shipped to you and then, then you have to get them to me, you can get a hold of me. I can order the parts in, have them ready for you when you get to our shop. So if you're interested in doing that, please let me know. I'll put my information here on the screen and we'll be happy to take care of you. So guys, if you guys have not already subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video today. I'm so glad that Terry got to be able to come in and help me with this. This is his wife, Linda's car, and uh, we just got done doing a ceramic coat on this car. Uh, the, this paint is 22 years old, and it just looks great. So, um, so if you're in need of a ceramic coating, 
Uh, I am a Ceramic Pro dealer. I'll be happy to take care of you. And I do give a lot of discounts on Corvettes. So just so you know. Uh, again, uh, thank you guys all for watching. Uh, one other thing I do want to say is if you guys have not already heard through YouTube or on Facebook that we are having a car show at the Grand Sierra Hotel in August. I think it's the 26th, 27th, and 28th. So it's a Thursday, Friday, Saturday. We're going to be doing a pre-registration check-in on Thursday, a little meet and greet, as well as doing a poker run on Friday with cash prizes for the top three hands, as well as doing a car show there in, on Saturday, which is an indoor car show. So normally, yes, it's right after hot August nights, but those of you that like to go up to Reno in that time frame and go to participate in hot August nights and you've got a new Corvette or a, a, you know pretty much anything newer than 72, you can't participate. So you can in ours. So if you've got a Corvette or a Camaro, you're more than welcome to come. Check out our information here. On, I'm gonna put that on the screen. You can also go to, it's uh, www.corvettecamaroinvasionreno.com or you can go to corvettechannel.com and go to the events tab and you'll be able to do your registration there as well as the get to the special link to get your special, and I mean real special uh, costs on your rooms at, uh, at GSR. So um, if you have any questions, again, I'm gonna put that information there. It's also going to be on the flyer and on the website. So be sure and check it out. We'd love to see you guys there. We've got 45,000 square feet in our main hall, as well as 35,000 square feet in our overflow. And we also have a about 10, 15,000 square foot outdoor parking if you don't want to be inside. So uh, be sure and check it out. Enough of that. Guys, thank you again for watching. 